Hello everyone, I'm Ian Haseo. This is Steven Uresco of Restaurant Adventures with Steve Bury. For today's restaurant adventure, I will be taking you to a Korean restaurant called Yami, located in Boynton Beach, Florida. Open since 2019, Yami Korean and Japanese Grill has been my local go-to spot whenever I have a craving for Korean food. Upon my most recent visit, I was pleased to see that despite the ravages of the COVID-19 pandemic upon local businesses, Yami was doing well. On the day I went, there was quite a lunch crowd. When I walked through the entry door, I was greeted by a beautiful and sexy cardboard cutout of the K-pop idol Irene of the supergroup Red Velvet. She was depicted holding up a bottle of the famous Korean vodka-like liquor called soju. The interior of the restaurant was lavishly decorated with colorful murals, along with a display of Korean musical instruments hanging from the wall. There was a big spacious bar area, a main dining hall, and a backroom area dedicated solely to Korean barbecue. Throughout the day, K-pop videos were shown on a big screen where one can see Blackpink, Red Velvet, and BTS performing. Usually, I sit in the main dining hall so I can enjoy the videos. But for this visit, I sat at a barbecue table in order to construct a feast fit for a Scylla Dynasty King. I opened with a kimchi pancake. The generously encrusted crepe was savory and delicious with a slightly crunchy crust. The flavor was enhanced by the tangy dipping sauce. I then ordered one of my favorite Korean dishes called galbi tang. This is a soup made with beef ribs, daikon radish, lacy strands of egg drops, and elegant crystalline noodles. The soup came to the table steaming hot. So delicious. After this, I ordered a bottle of frosty cold height Korean beer and a bottle of soju. While some people like to dump a shot of soju into a glass of beer, where it is called somek, I drank mine by alternating a shot of soju with a chaser of beer. I'm sure there is a Korean word for that too. By then I was ready for my barbecue. In front of me was a gas flame grill. I ordered a combination of thinly sliced rib meat, thinly sliced marinated beef, and sliced chicken. Alongside these meats was served several tasty side dishes called banchan. They usually vary according to the restaurant, but in every place, kimchi is the one absolute. For this visit, I was served thinly sliced pickled radishes, pickled cucumbers, potatoes, broccoli, and bean sprouts, along with the traditional kimchi. The food server fired up the grill. After getting me started, I was left to my own devices. Although I had to cook my own barbecue, I think I did quite well. Occasionally, the food server would stop by to make sure I wasn't burning my food. I started out with the thinly sliced beef. In order not to burn it, I had to turn it over frequently. The meat came out tasty and slightly sweet from the flavor of the marinade. I then cooked the chicken meat. This is also marinated in a slightly sweet sauce. This time my grilling efforts paid off. The poultry was golden brown on the outside while soft and tender on the inside. I then ended my feast with the galbi rib meat. By then I had gotten the hang of grilling my own food. Resembling a skirt steak in length and in width, I cut the strip of meat Korean style with a pair of scissors. I then dropped the meat onto the grill. A few turns over the fire and the meat was cooked to perfection. After consuming a second height beer and ordering takeout food for my wife, I was ready to call it a day. I've had some really good times at Yami Korean and Japanese Grill. The vibe is relaxing, while the tasteful decor makes one feel as if they are experiencing a culinary journey to Korea. Although it is a casual establishment, it is upscale enough for special occasions. I even took my wife there for our 25th wedding anniversary. 
Since they've opened in 2019, I've seen huge improvements in the quality of the food and in the service, along with a greatly expanded menu. It is no wonder why the restaurant is packed every night. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this week's restaurant adventure. Thank you for tuning in. Kamsamnida. This is Steven Uresco of Restaurant Adventures with Steve Yuri signing off for now. Until next time, kambe. Oh, and one more thing. If you're enjoying my videos and its content, please don't forget to click like and hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.